Hi. Um, American Civil War, artillerymen, if they have to abandon the position, like I said with the previous video about the, uh, <coughs> the German artillery luger, German artillerymen, World War One, big heavy guns, had to abandon the position, left them defenceless, so they needed the artillery luger. In the American Civil War, artillerymen weren't really armed with pistols, so what they had was, when the um, enemy horsemen were encl enclosing on their position, they couldn't get the guns down long enough to shoot them, so what they did was, as the enemy drew closer, got over their position, they needed something to defend themselves. This is an American Civil War artilleryman's sidearm for protection. Um, le leather mounted brass on the scabbard, uh, brass handle. It's modelled, the original pattern is uh, based on a Roman gladiator's sword. And basically, what it is, it's this huge broad blade it's not it's not pointed it is very very heavy there's no edge to the blade and what this is for as the enemy horses get into the positions the artilleryman withdraws his sidearm and he breaks the legs of the horses bringing the horse down and then he dispatches the guy on the horse fairly brutal but made for a specific purpose on the battlefield so that's an american civil war artilleryman's sidearm in its scabbard and um, it was copied later on by the French who made a near identical copy as a bandsman's sword so you, you have to be careful not to confuse the two and um, so that's the American Civil War artilleryman's defensive sidearm in its scabbard quite quite a little do turn up because they're nice and ornate they make nice wall hanging ornaments so they do turn up um, they're not really that expensive, so that's what that is. So we'll see if another one.